Because so much happens in the first volume of the exciting new series Goat Hunter, we've prepared this quick guide to help you keep track of what's going on, just in case you blink. This is Go. Five years ago, when the mimetic beast attacked the Earth, Go, in his giant robot, saved a girl named Anna from certain death. Now, five years later, Anna has grown up and filled out. And she's going to marry Go. Unfortunately, just as they're walking down the aisle, the mimetic beasts attack again, and Go has to get back into his giant robot to save the city. So Anna, who also happens to be a giant robot pilot, follows Go and discovers another giant robot beneath the grave of Go's former partner, Mira, who was killed in the first battle against the mimetic beasts. Well, it turns out that this robot can mate with Go's robot to form an even bigger robot. So Anna saves Go from certain death, but now Anna is both Go's wife and combat partner, which doesn't sit well with Shizuru, another giant robot pilot who's also in love with Go, or with Go, since his last partner and girlfriend, Mira, was killed in battle with the mimetic beasts. On the other hand, Anna's mom, who's also Go's boss, thinks this is great, as long as Anna keeps up her grades in school. No one knows what Anna's father thinks, since he disappeared when Anna was just a child. But the principal of the school thinks it's fine too, as long as Anna keeps the fact that she's married and a giant robot pilot secret from her classmates. So the only one who knows is Go's younger brother, Shinobu, who goes to school with Anna and also lives with Go and Anna, which puts quite a damper on the honeymoon, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. Okay, now it gets complicated. It turns out that Go's former partner and girlfriend, Mira, who everyone one thought was killed in battle with the mimetic beast wasn't. And now she's back. Although she's a little weirded out and does a lot of stuff like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Go and Anna have also taken in Lou, a young orphan girl, who's also learning to be a giant robot pilot and whose father was killed by the mimetic beasts. But we're just getting started. Let's add a pair of not quite twin bridge bunnies, their dashing commander, a pregnant cat, half a dozen sexually frustrated mechanics, a gaggle of high school students, the crew of the space station, eight more giant robot pilots, and a wide assortment of varying genders, nationalities, and sexual preferences. Plus a generous sprinkling of fan service, and of course, a whole slew of additional giant robots and mimetic beasts. And there you have just a brief introduction of what you'll see in the first exciting volume. And if relationships aren't your thing, you can also see this.